First, voters are weighing in on who will replace retiring Secretary of State Jesse White. It's a position he's held since 1999. Among the Democratic candidates, some big names. Alexei Janoulias, who was once the state treasurer, had a losing bid as well for the U.S. Senate. He's going up against Alderman David Moore. Also, Sidney Moore, who has worked on various campaigns in the city. And Chicago City Clerk Anna Valencia, who has several big name endorsements, including both Illinois senators and Jesse White himself. Our Germont Terry is live covering the Valencia campaign. Germont. Erica and Joe, now the campaign, they're hanging a few final signs, getting ready for what they hope to be a victory party tonight. Anna Valencia wants to move from City Hall as Chicago's city clerk to her first elected state office as Secretary of State. Now, this morning, she gathered with some key supporters at Manny's Deli in the South Loop. The incumbent and longstanding Secretary, Secretary of State, Jesse White, has endorsed Valencia. She also had the backing of both U.S. Senators Dick Durbin and Tammy Duckworth. Duckworth, along with Attorney General... Uh, uh, Kwame Raul, the lieutenant governor, and Governor Pritzker all throwing their support for Valencia. And while she has some big name Democrats backing her, outside of Chicago, the question is whether Valencia has her own name recognition. She's been city clerk of Chicago since 2017, but it's her only elected position she's held. Again, she is expecting a big win tonight, but we'll have to wait and see how voters decide when the polls close. Reporting live in the West Loop. Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Jermont, thank you. Let's shift now to Charlie DeMar. He is covering candidate Alexi Janulius, who's trying to jump back into public office. Charlie. Yeah, and like you said, Joe, yeah, Alexi trying to get back into public office. He's endorsed by the Cook County Democratic Party. He also has the backing of several major labor unions around the state. He also leads the field with the biggest war chest, raising over $4 million in campaign funds. Now, we caught up with Janulius this afternoon in front of the Shoesmith Elementary School in the Kenwood neighborhood. He stopped there with Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle. If you remember, he was state treasurer from 2007 to 2011, and it just 30 years old, he was the youngest treasurer in the country. He did run unsuccessfully for U.S. Senate back in 2010. It was a highly contested race that he lost to Mark Kirk. It was, of course, for President Obama's former seat. He's the founder of a private investment company. They mostly invest in small startup companies. Now, if Janulius wins, he has vowed to modernize the Secretary of State office by making appointment, uh, appointments available for all DMV services. The idea is to uh, short up, shorten up some of the waiting time that people do have at the DMV. We, of course, will see how this all shakes out tonight. His watch party's here at the Sheridan, where we're about to head in, guys. Certainly a race we'll be watching, Charlie. Thanks. And here is a look at the Republicans hoping to replace Jesse White. State Representative Dan Brady from Bloomington goes up against former prosecutor John Milheiser.